Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects CC 2018 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use motion sketch and smoothing to make really cool hand-drawn, you know, organic style uh, sketches or, or, or motion paths. And let's just get right into this and I'll show you exactly what I mean. For those of you that are following along, just go ahead and load up After Effects and let's create a new composition. I'm going to go ahead and do that. The size of the composition doesn't really matter, I'm just using 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to use a white background. We're just doing this for demonstration purposes. The second thing is you want to add in some sort of shape or object or image or something like that that you want to animate over time. Let's see what I got here. I've got this little map pin that I'm going to animate, so I'm just going to drop that in and I'm going to drag and drop it onto my timeline. It's huge, or onto my uh, onto the middle panel here. It is huge, so I'm going to reduce the size. Hang on one second, guys. Sorry about that. Hit the wrong button. Now I'm going to hit, hold the shift key down and just drag inwards. The reason why I hold shift key down, for those of you that are new, is that constrains the proportions of the image or shape layer, whatever it might be you're working on. So I'm just going to drag and drop. I'm going to put there right at the top. And let's go ahead and fit this up to 100%. So there we go. Looking good, guys. All right, here we go. Now the next step is I'm going to click on to the image or the icon or whatever it is you guys are using. Just click on whatever it is. And we're going to go up here and we're going to go to the window and we're going to drop it down and you're going to see something called motion sketch. Make sure there's a check mark right beside that. I'm going to click on it. Boom. It opens in the bottom for me right down here. So I'm just going to I'm just going to increase the size a bit here. And the next step and this is where it gets really interesting is we can actually now go ahead and just start drawing our path. So I am going to click start capture and nothing happens and that's 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 intended. The motion path won't start capturing until you left click and then you start drawing it out. So I'm going to left click outside the boundaries here and then I'm just going to draw it out for a few seconds. So here we go. Ready, set, go. Left and then it comes in and then it does a loop de loo then it does another loop de loo loop de loo off the page something like that okay so we've got a nice little cool little uh, sketch I'm going to click off of the image over here and let's hit spacebar and see what we got okay so we're on our way the issue though as you can no doubt tell is well it's kind of like it's jaggy and it's it's sort of abrupt it starts and then it stops and it starts and it stops that's more of a you know unless you're like a an incredibly gifted <laughs> person with your mouse hand or your trackpad you know you, you do a loop and then you loop it's very hard to maintain smooth continuous motion unless you're like really really talented which as you're gathering that's not my thing so um, not to despair guys no biggie let's click on the map icon or the image whatever you're using to work with me here and now we're going to go back up, we're going to go look at the windows, and we're going to click on Smoother. Make sure that the check mark is on Smoother. Now, here's where it gets interesting. So we got to drop this down. We're going to drop down Transform. We're going to click on Position. And then when we do that, well, here, we're going to see all of the keyframes that it created. And it created a lot of them. Even if we're just, you know, it was only an eight and a half second or whatever the hell, Look, I mean, if you look at it, huge number of keyframes. And that's just, you know, that's kind of leads to the jagginess. We want to actually smooth it. So, as I said, we've clicked smoother. And I'm just going to select an arbitrary number. It's very hard to know. So let's just go with 20 and see what happens. And I'm going to click apply. And then all of a sudden, you're going to see that there are way less um, paths or keyframes in this case. So if I click out and we hit play again or I hit spacebar or number pad zero if you're on a one of those types of keyboards, let's see what happens now. Comes in, nice little smooth loop de loop, smooth loop de loop. You know what? This is way smoother than the previous one. It's a little rough at the end there in here, so I might actually want to smooth it a little more. But again, guys, you could see the difference right away. So if I turn the tolerance up to say like 35 and again this is kind of like season to taste you're just sort of taking some shots in the dark you're going to see even fewer keyframes and it's going to no doubt be even smoother so let's just space bar it. and in it comes looking good looking good nice and smooth little jaggy in there 
probably going to be a little jaggy there. Yeah, but I mean, overall, guys, it's a thousand times better than the original if you're looking for smooth keyframes. Also, the last thing I'll leave you with here, I'm going to click on position here again, is you can actually click on the individual keyframe and go in there and do some work on it. So if you really want to, like, make some big changes, like this is, say, this isn't the one you want, as you can see here, I'll start working on the handles. Maybe I want it to be a tighter loop like this, or maybe I want this one here. I'll click on this keyframe. Maybe I want that to kind of come in a little different, something like that. I mean, really, you want to move it down. You want the whole thing to change. You can really do some serious work. Double, oops, sorry, double click, change that handle. I mean, there's so many different options, guys. But again, this is this is basically how you use Motion Sketch and Smoother to make cool organic hand-drawn smooth animations. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be back more with some more stuff shortly. Thanks for watching.